Alright guys, this is the real reason I uh, first wanted to bump my Amara up to level 50 as fast as possible because I wanted to do a Trevenator build. After I did the Trevenator video with the Flak, I got really excited about the uh, combination between the Trevenator and the Transformer, being that you can shoot orbs. And then, um, Amara obviously also has lifesteal so you can get lifesteal and shield regeneration out of the same gun which seems really cool so you put all this together she also has this awesome skill personal space which is a big bonus damage dealer and you can increase splash damage this all seems to make sense that this could do some pretty cool things so i did some mindfulness to keep my shield up uh, just in case I'm having trouble, a little bit of health regeneration. Um, seemed better than just max health. But I didn't really need to go much further down this tree. I was going to play with some Samsara, but I've kind of heard some glitchy things about that. Um, I want to go all the way down here to get forceful expression to really increase my damage. I do not want infusion, so I just went with better dots. Hopefully I'm putting some out. Um... Tempest for uh, my damage. And this is in shock, so I'm really cranking that up. Wildfire, just to kind of keep moving down the tree, to be honest. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, uh, here, obviously, I want Gundam. Actually, this one I don't really need. I wasted this point. Well, not true, because the real. Well, no, no. This is a waste of a point. Okay, it's one point. Uh, Deep Well obviously helps. They're elemental guns. Well, this can help your DPS, but I really want to get down here to the lifesteal. And then this. And then in the center tree... Um, I am not going to use this for a phase, a phase grass tree. Um... So I just did this to get some action skill. I'm actually going to try this as a phase slam. So I jump into the middle of the guys, and then I start pounding them down. I would like some helping hands, but we'll see. So I want this to be a really fast pace kind of slam in your face. And then I have a cryo after my, uh, where are you? Um. I got my movement speedo on. I want to actually stay close to the enemy. So yeah, the big guys can go down no problem. And you just rush and kill. And this is a fun build. Now there will be some... Uh... Problems, I'm sure, with... Uh... Let's see, like shock immune enemies flying enemies and so far I've only got the Trevenator on here so I will need to get more guns and this gun does consume a lot of ammo but I'm absorbing a lot of that with my shield I already have that so it's not the end of the world um, I could switch my element to add fire to this but then I have to be a little more careful about uh, Engaging the enemies faster because um, yeah, I, I was going to say, I, I will put that dot on myself. So if I change it to fire, I put that fire dot on myself. But yeah, it uh, works pretty well, works pretty fast. Oh, 
and uh, it's a ton of fun. So here is the time I did get in a little bit of trouble. But I can get out of it. God, you get moving fast. And like I said, I'm using ammo, but I'm also regaining it. And I do have this uh, anointed. I think I said it where I get cryo after it. Where are these guys hiding? Ooh, there, that did work. Cool. Ho oh, ho ho, I'm moving fast. Okay. Let's uh, regen some ammo here. Yes, this actually works. Or it's pretty efficient for the amount of bullets it puts out the ammo it consumes. What's cool too, the ammo goes to the magazine and then excess ammo goes to your uh, Um, ammo pool. Alright, so let's look at a little bit more of the gear. This is the Tur Trevenator I'm using now. I got a binary one today leveling up, but obviously it was in the 30s. This could be awesome with a binary Trevenator. Uh, so yeah, the Transformer. And what's cool is after using Phase Slam, I get more tanky. Then I have a uh, the rope a dope keep be mainly because I want personal space. I would like one that's more in personal space, but this is cool enough. Uh, it does have shotgun damage on it, which is nice. The other two are kind of wasted here. And then I have a last stand. Uh, this is more movement speed that's a cool and area of effect damage that the Trevenator puts out. So that kind of doubles up on the damage. And then I've got a storm front. Uh, in case, actually I should have been chucking those. Those will make me even more tanky. So what I can do is I can throw out some storm fronts, go in there, and then the storm fronts are going to keep me alive even better. Alright, where are these? Not today. Uh oh, so this guy is going to be trouble. Alright, so those are the guys I gotta be ready with a different gun. Already forgot about Shock immune enemies. You know you're gonna run into them, so that's just something I gotta plan for, but this is stage one of the Trevenator build. This is the one shotgun I wish did not have knockback. It uh, does not play into my favor. Oh, come on. No ammo? I guess it doesn't matter. I was getting a little light. This is the most efficient way of gaining ammo, but it works. I use a lot on the uh, one enemy that uh, was cryo resistant or uh, shock resistant. So, like on Kilovolt, this would be bad. <laughs> I'd like to get above 100 after I'm fully reloaded. Damn, getting some bad RNG there. I went backwards. 
And yeah, this is... Yeah, the taking damage with the movement speed here is sweet. Because it works, I'm taking damage, but I'm recharging my shield at the same time. And then I just run around like crazy. And I do have, uh, I'm not down here, but, you know, this is some extra. Alright. I kind of run around, get these guys gathered up a little bit, and then... So after I get comfortable with this more in shock, I'm going to try uh, adding fire to it and see how my survival is. Enemy ahead. Where is this enemy? That took care of him. I'm a freaking legend. You got these two guys who are definitely dead. And it's chupacabra time. Whoa. His uh, life steal was no joke. Hey, yes, a legendary. And his grenade. I forgot he got a few of those, but why not? Hmm. Let's go see Beans and then move on to the boss. So I need something for killing flying enemies, and I need something for shock immune enemies. Which isn't too bad. I probably want to stay away from other shotguns. I forgot I'm not to that point in the save. I should go unlock that. I did that another time when I was testing something out. Oh well, not too far out of the way. Be interesting to see how this build deals with the boss. I, mean, I should rip through his shield super fast. Maybe after I rip through his shield, I'll try putting on fire and see how I survive. But yeah, I really want to try this with a binary. I don't know if it's just going to tear through ammo too fast, but. Damn, that thing was, uh... Let's go around. I'm not used to moving this fast. It, uh, throws me off a little bit. Waste of my time. I overshot that. That is fun, I'm not gonna lie. Gotta find the right augment for that too. Where did you go? He's way up there. But this is more <laughs> mopey. If you're watching, this is your build, man. This is this is a mopey build. Alright, where are you? You're dead.
This is uh, this is a ton of fun, people. It is aggressive. It is fast. It is effective, and I just need to find the other few weapons to uh, finish it. So if you guys have been sleeping on the Trevenator, you shouldn't. All right, let's look at my augment here. What am I using? So yeah, that definitely doesn't work. Is that phase grass only? Did I not read that right? Action skill, so that's not actually working. Does this replace? No. So 7,000. It lowers it 15%, but adds 13,000 Nova. Hmm. I'm going to try it. The other thing I do is add soul sap, but that's really kind of pointless. Who's left? And if you guys don't like to aim for crits, this is a build where you don't really aim for crits because it's just too fast and you kind of want to shoot the ground and hit your feet. Or if you're aiming up, you could hit. hit. So you kind of like, just shoot them in the chest, really. That way, uh... Is that, that way you make sure, if you're kind of going chest to chest, you are making sure you're getting your ammo back. Which is important. Because this thing does chew through ammo. It is a burst fire fast shotgun, but uh, yeah. Okay. Should have plenty of ammo for him now. And since I got some guardian rank, I might as well spend that on... Fire rate's not bad. Yeah, critical hit damage. I like critical hit damage, even though this is not a critical hit build. Alright, let's go see our buddy Trant. Oh, are you going to put a wall up on me? And now, let's go and fire... And that worked. I've got a fire dot on me, but I can just heal. Damn, embrace the pain. That's kind of fitting for this build. That is uh, the Trevenator start of a build, people. Now, this is screaming out for a... Uh, one of the elemental relics. Um, but I just had movement speed on here and I kind of liked it in the area effect damage. But honestly, those relics, because I am taking a shock dot, even though I'm not taking the damage from it, I didn't actually think I would be taking a shock dot. Holy fuck. Well, yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's level 49, but that's still like crazy good. <laughs> With this build? So that's getting equipped. Um, yeah. <laughs> what the? Well, I'm gonna try that for sure. Jesus. That's still considered phase slam, yeah. <laughs> That'll be interesting.
All right, so let's uh, put that on. And Jesus, 134k. <laughs> yep, that works. I should, I should just take this other one off. Well, no. It's hard to tell which one is which. What's nice now is a uh, cryo shock. Um. Did it to myself. Okay. So yeah, that fire thing, there's a good chance of killing yourself by putting fire in your element. But the times you need it, you can definitely do it. And holy crap, this build flies. Uh, yeah. Once again, this is the start of the Amara Trevenator. I don't know what else I'm going to call it. I might just call it the Trevenator build because, yeah, it's Trevor. Uh, I'm super excited about it. This Trevenator is awesome. I want to farm up more versions. Um, if I could get... If you guys are out there, if you have this anointment on a Trevenator with shock, I will love you forever. Especially a binary Trevenator with this anointment would be nuts. I would, uh, I would do anything for that. Uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, as always, hit that subscribe button, the notifications bell, so you know when I'm posting videos. I'm not going to be doing a Let's Play this right now. I think this is more of a niche, just run around, have fun build. Uh, and I've got to finish the Let's Play I'm on now, obviously. Um, that's my priority, but uh, if you guys want a fun, uh, fun in-your-face, run around, nail things, build, this is one. Um, I'm going to probably go run the Slaughter Domes with it, though, because those are super fun, and that would be interesting. Um, yeah, maybe Proving Grounds, too, just to see how fast I can blast through them with something like this, but I'll probably like run into like, a Shock Skag or something, and... So yeah, I'll need to, uh, like I said, find a few alternate guns that are not shotguns, but that's for another day. I am rambling as I do, so I'm going to stop that and just say goodbye. Talk to you later. Bye.